Should I turn the light on or? All right. What up? How you doing? I have been drinking and it's okay because it's Friday. Let's, uh, I still got to figure out the uh, setup for this trailer, but um, I'm thinking about having baby stick have like maybe, maybe, well, you know, I can do it, but I, I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, what is going on, guys? What's up? How we doing? Mr. Jimenez, long time no see. What is up? How, what is up? Mr. Jimenez, I haven't seen you. Insane Chef, I was just texting you. What's up? Hey, uh, congratulate. By the way, I gotta. I gotta. Wow, I am really showing my age tonight. That is for show. It's my drone. Uh, probably gonna get the DJI uh, 4, Mini 4. I think, I'm, I, think I, I mean, I don't need it, but I want it, so maybe I'll go get it. I don't know. Anyways, uh, congratulations on that uh, video, 5,000. See? That's what happens, dude. You, 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 you got to keep doing it. Then they have one video, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll hit, and, you, and then that's when you know you're onto something. It's, that's what you need. You need one of those videos that will nudge you in that direction. So congratulations. And I watched the video. Good video. I have one critique. Get out of the car more. and sh like I wish you would have got out and showed that church. But other than that, good job. You might want to get out. and I wanted to see what that church was. I, I, I personally, I wanted to know what that, like... I don't, I don't even know where the hell you were, but yeah, I, I personally want to know what the history of that church was. Um, it just, that, it's kind of weird and sad and that's what people like to see, man. People like to, they just, they, they like to see these places that they'll never go to and they need somebody to be the tour guide. I wish, uh, part of me wishes that I could do that, but it's not my content. Anyways, congratulations. Uh, Cassandra living life, long time no see. Junkyard dog, long time no see. Mike Brown, the other one, long time no see. Darlene Lancaster, I've never seen you before. Toxic. What's up? Uh, greetings from Croatia, Jan Horvath. What's up from Croatia? Kale is in the building. Or Kale. Patent pending. Give me a while, my, my lawyer's working on it. Uh, Lost Andy, 007. What is up? How are we doing? Anyways, what's up, guys? What is up? What are we talking about tonight? Uh, let's talk about... Uh, well, I don't know. I'd like to know... Uh, and by the way, I'm on the good channel, so I don't cuss on here. But I, I would like to know. And I'm not interested in discussing it. I'm just throwing it out there. You guys can discuss it in the live chat. What I want to know is, why in God's name does that Cat Williams interview with uh, Shannon Sharp, is that his name? Why does that have 55 million views? I watched about 30 or 45 minutes of it. And, you know, let me tell you something, guys. I can say this because I can say this. I personally don't know why a black comedian talking about other black comedians is so fascinating. I don't get it. It's fascinating for black people. I understand that. I don't get it. 55 million people? What? You know, listen, I like Cat Williams. I think Cat Williams is one of the top 10 funniest people ever. But we, I mean, let's not forget this guy is off the chain a little bit, has kind of a little bit of a mental problem, a little bit. I like Cat Williams. I think he's funny. I think he's funnier than, um, I mean, the only black comedian 
that I think that is funnier than Cat Williams is Martin Lawrence. Other than that, he, he's right up there. But I, I just, I don't understand a black comedian talking about other black comedians is so interesting. I, I Hey, more power to you. Go ahead and do what you do. But uh, yeah, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Again, that interview was what? Three and a half hours or so. And I only watched 45 minutes. But personally, I thought it was interesting when he was talking about Steve Harvey. I didn't even know that was a wig. That was the best wig I've ever seen in my life. Other than that, I, I won't take anything away from Steve Harvey. I think Steve Harvey is very funny. Hey, listen, Steve Harvey's a Christian. So, you know, it's like, how do you be funny, but you're a Christian? You know, it's like, eh, I'm not saying he's like born again and all of that, but I like Steve Harvey. I like Cat Williams. I like uh, Cedric the Entertainer. I think he's funny. I love Bernie Mac. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. We need to put that. We need to get that video on Facebook, by the way. Uh, anyways, uh, Crystal Wood is in the buildings. What's up? You must have did that video when the storm came. Oh, dude, I was in, I, I think right around that time you were there, I was in Arkansas. It was eight degrees for like two nights straight. I got a hotel room and uh, yeah, that was cold as hell. But it wasn't as bad as it was that one year. What was it? The year before I was down to, man, remember when that, that super big ice storm came where like all the power and all of Texas was shut down for like five days? I went down, I'm so, this is how ignorant I am. I go down to, by the way, I feel like I need a mic. Yeah, one day I'll get a mic. I feel, so, I knew it was gonna be bad, right? So I, I think I was talking to you when the storm was coming. So I'm like, I'm going to Houston, I'm smart. I'm going to Galveston or whatever the hell I was thinking. It was cold as hell down there too. All the power shut down, ice everywhere. That was horrible. The only good thing I can say about my experience with that is actually nothing. That was that sucked. That that was the worst experience ever of me living in a trailer I've ever had. That was terrible. All the power of the whole damn state and you know I'm I, I'm waiting for them to restore power and I just got tired of it. I I, I left. I went to Louisiana. I got tired of the power thing. I mean, I had plenty of gas because I, I filled up my tank, the van. I filled up my the generator. I filled up the uh, the five gallon thing. I had I had propane, but I I didn't buy enough and I ran out and there was no propane. So I the generator was basically running night and day with my heater. It was that sucked. That sucked. And then a bunch of people died, which sucked for them. Whatever, so. Uh, Janice Castone. What are you doing? Uh, when am I going to Gummo Dude? Uh, I think this, uh, you might have been, uh, you might have been, uh, you might have been an OG subscriber. Oh, yeah, I streamed on the wrong. I streamed on the wrong. Hold on, guys. Hold on, give me a real. I streamed on the wrong phone. Gummo Dude, I think you've been on the, I think you're a long time subscriber. When am I going to Europe or Asia? Who? Okay, when somebody wants to roll. Uh, I'm going somewhere this summer. I don't care if I'm just buying a ticket to go somewhere for two days. I'm going somewhere this this summer. I have to. I think the next... Listen, personally, this is just... Um, this is just me and my personal opinion. If I were to travel... Overseas, I think Lamont on the run has more potential than Lamont at large all day long. I think that has way more potential because Lamont at large is like it's in a box. It's like it's like okay, crime in cemeteries, which I love. The other channel's like okay, I can talk to the homeless people. I can go show houses. I can uh, talk a little bit about news. Yeah, it, it's way more flexible. But I, you know, I, I want to get both channels going. I mean, Lamont at large, I prefer to get going more, but Lamont on the run has more potential. But I need to travel to see the potential. So we'll see. Uh, Kenny Kelcher, well, thank you very much. What's up? Uh, yes, it is raining. 
It is raining. You will be hearing rain. Uh, Malay Yui. What up, baby? How we doing? I mean, ma'am. Ma'am. So, yeah. Because it exposed something we've been waiting to hear for over 20 years. Well, to hear what? <laughs> it's like, what, what kind of life-changing event took place where this guy, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm not sure what he, okay, so he said, he said pretty much what we all believe in that Hollywood has its click. Everywhere does. Everywhere has its click. You're you're either in the in club or you're not. I'm sure YouTube has that as well. I don't know what that in club is. I don't really think YouTube has that. I mean, I'm sure it does, but you know, when it comes to YouTube, who's in the in club, right? Who who's in the in club on YouTube? I don't know who's a big YouTuber. I have no idea. Whatever. So I have I have no idea. But he, he, he didn't say anything that I personally feel that was interesting. Whatever. So, uh, woman in Mississippi that had her son in only a diaper in 20 degree weather at Walmart and gets arrested. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear about that. You should email me. Talk about criminal at gmail.com. Maybe I'll go to the Walmart where it happened. Uh, thank you, Crystal Wood. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was uh, Scarlett's video. That was she gave me the uh, she edited that video. And she, I, I actually I don't believe I knew about that. I believe that's her. That was her suggestion because um, I didn't know. So that was her video, pretty much. I'm just a puppet. Uh, remember when they pumped up that black lady that was doing van life? What the hell ever happened to her? Um, what was her name again? Uh, do, 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 do. Janelle? Hey, you know, Janelle, is that is that her name? Jan okay, something. Janelle Monet. She has 2.39 million subscribers. I ain't gonna lie, she is cute. Her last upload was, that was so weird. Uh, her last upload was <laughs> over a year and a half ago, April 11th of 2022. Uh, you know, I she was cute. She was funny, quirky. She had good editing. She was a plant. I still don't understand what that was. She wasn't just a regular person that started the channel. No, that was, uh, I don't know what that was. I have no idea. No idea. I wonder what ever happened to her. Her edit, like, it's almost like, you know, her editing, it was, I was like, there's no way she's doing her own editing. It, it was too slick. It was too funny at the right time. It was too adorable. I'm like, this is disgusting. I don't know what this this brought. She wasn't even a real person. I'm not saying she was fake, but she wasn't herself. She was a character. I just, I honestly, I, I when I first seen it, and then I, you know, she was making the the, the uh, couple of videos. I thought literally, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was Netflix promoting a new TV show. I said, okay, this is going to be a TV show with this with this girl. She disappeared. I don't know what happened to her. But she was ab absolutely a phony. Absolutely a phony. Uh, Trudy's in the building. Uh, which one is that? Uh, yeah, so. Um, I don't know about what your prior. I, I, yeah, I, he was kind of funny, but I... Uh, I don't know. I, I I can't I can't judge because I haven't really listened to enough of his comedy to really see. Yeah, I've seen one of his comedies probably when I was falling asleep. Yeah, it's funny. I don't know. I should do more of a video about him, but uh, I'd have to get more into him and, and kind of look into what he, uh, everything that he's ever done uh, or whatever. So uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, Tara May Scott, long time no see. Uh, yeah. 
uh, well, thank you, Adam Kleppy. It's it's all it's all uh, fake. So it's, uh, it's just hydrogen peroxide. Uh, in real life, it's all bad. I actually haven't been to the dentist in a long, long, long time. I gotta go. I know I got. I got. I've been had a cavity right here for like three years. I'm just like I. It's not that I'm scared to go to. The, well, I'm scared. I'm scared. So yeah. Uh, oh, we got another. We got a cemetery channel in here. Cemetery Adventures. I, I have not checked his channel out. If you guys want to go check his channel out and give it a review. And uh, let him know what you feel about his channel. I don't. I don't even know if it is a real channel or not. I have no idea. It just says Cemetery Adventures. So go check out his channel and uh, let him know how you feel. If he's good, if he's bad. Cindy feels is in the building. What up? What up, girl? How we doing? So yeah, let him know. Oh, and he sent me two bucks. Got a little bit of free advertising tonight. Fantastic. Cemetery Adventures. If I were going to rename, well, no, actually, Fascinating Graveyard, yeah, that is a, yeah, that is a channel with Grave in the name. Um, before Lamont at Large, what was the what was the name that I was going to call it? I don't really, what was it? Um, oh, God, what was it? Hang on. Before Lamont at Large, I had the name and I was thinking about it for a few days, but I it, there was this I didn't like it. Um I, I, what was it? it? It has something to do with traveling and true crime in the name. It was like true crime tourist. It was a stupid name, and I'm like I you know, it, I wanted a name that basically tell told everybody what exactly it is that I do. And when I came up with the name, I'm like, that name is stupid. Uh, that name was stupid. It was a true crime tourist? True crime traveler? It was something like that. It was some stupid generic name. It was like true crime explorer, true crime traveler it was like i was looking for a name that had like what i would do with traveling or or or, or whatever and i just said you know what how about lamont like and then i'm like going somewhere I'm like i'm always like i was thinking like lamont i'm always going somewhere like lamont travels lamont explores lamar L lamont is not lamar Lamont moving, Lamont on the move, Lamont on the run, Lamont at large, Lamont at large. And I told Kale, I said, what do you think about Lamont at large? Or was it somebody else? I don't know. I think it was already Lamont at large when we first started talking. Yeah, I was. I told somebody, maybe it could be her. I don't, I don't remember. But whoever I was, I told, they were like, that's it. They loved it immediately. I said, Lamont at large, it is. Oh. Uh, it was somebody. I don't know. Uh, Aussie girl with the Aussie $5. Okay, that's your first super on the live stream. Aussie girl. Are you from OZ or are you from New Zealand? I don't, I, I'm still confused. I'm still confused about OZ and is it Australia or New Zealand? I don't get it. I, I thought Australia was A U S and then New Zealand was N Z or something like that. I have no idea. Uh oh, it's coming down. It's coming down. Uh, uh, Tito Torres with the four ninety nine. Have you told that carnival story that you said you were going to tell? I can't tell it on this channel, dude. I if, I might go live on the other channel tomorrow. I was actually going to go live on the other channel. I just I wasn't sure if I had the energy because if I go live on that channel, I gotta I gotta bring it. You know, this one I can like say like I'm tired, and then you know bow out. No, I mean, it, it, it's it's not much of a story. I just it's inappropriate. I gotta I, you know I I have a channel for the inappropriate stuff. And it would make me look like a creep 
and then you guys are going to be recording it, what I say, and then you're going to repost it on social media, and it's going to make me look like a perv, which I don't have a problem with, because whatever, anything that anybody finds out about what I've said, or in private or real life, I can care less, because basically everybody that knows me in real life already knows what I think about certain things anyways, so it doesn't really matter, but um, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, it's just a weird story, so. Uh, Leah S. Short time no see with the twenty dollars super chat. Thank you very much, Leah. She's putting it down twenty dollars. Bam. Thank you very much. I know you did not have to give me that much, and I thank you. And that 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 money will go to good use. Tomorrow I will go eat at Waffle House in your honor. Thank you. Uh, anyways. Uh, uh, Mario Kaczynski, uh, what's up, bro? Long time no see. Oh, we got all the people from the BB, uh, in the woodwork. Uh, I sub to Cemetery Ventures. He has quite a few videos in there. Okay, very good. All right, so he's producing content. Okay, all right. And lovely Latoya with the, uh, with the 1999. Why is YouTube letting me know how many times they've super chatted? That's so stupid. Well, lovely Latoya. Um, she's, she's, uh, uh, you know, putting it down in the sunshine state. Thank you very much. Lovely Latoya. She's been on my channel. Cute as a bug in a rug for a, a couple of years now. She has bought me many, many bottles of vodka. Thank you very much, my dear. And Malay UA or UI. Aloha, my dear. 1999. Wow, you guys are like bang, boom, pow. Thank you guys. I know you guys don't have, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit, you know. And you know how I feel about the super chat, but you know, I, you know, it's like you know, it's, it's on, but I don't like shove it down your throats and like some other YouTubers. But thank you very, very much. And I don't do this every stream, but because you guys have sent me three. $20 super chats in a row. I, I feel I have to give you guys a little bit of a treat. Now, between me and you, I'm going to show you guys something that's a little bit private and it's a little bit weird. But I'm, I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a, my personal life. Today, I went to the gym. I'm very, very out of shape. Um, it's it's going to take me three or four months, I think, to get back into any kind of shape. But today, I was looking... My van is a complete mess, as you guys have seen in some of my videos. And I couldn't find my soap. And I'm looking over my dilapidated van. I said, where's my soap? I can't find it. And now, now, he, now here's the thing. Here, check this out. Now, my soap is right here, right? This is my soap. But it was in my trailer, and I'm looking in my van, right? So here's one one thing of soap, right? And and it, hold on, hold on, guys. Now here's another, right? Here's another. But I'm saving this to do a review on the next time I go book a room at a at a flea bag motel. And so I got to review this, so I can't use this. Right, so, so you know, this is my this is what I normally use is like soft soap. It's like nine out of ten times I use soft soap, right? And I bought this as a goof because I'm like, all right, let's coconut coffee that that smells that, that looks like it smells disgusting. I'll do a little review. So I couldn't use any of those because I because I I have I have you know I I what I do when I go to the gym. A little bit too much information. What I do when I go to the gym, I don't bring a big bottle of, of you know, whatever. I, I, I have, like, these little travel bottles, and then I, I fill them up because I'm a weirdo. So, uh, you know, I, 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 I have three bottles in my van, and I can't find them, right? I can't find them. And I know that that soap is in my van, but I, I said, no. I said, I know I have it in here. Long story short, I can't find it. And I said, well, I said, I have an emergency I have a little cubby hole where I have a little bit of soap and I'm not proud of this, but I have a little bit of soap for when I can't find my normal soap. Guys, this tiny bar of, of bar soap, 
is what I use to bathe with today. This little, I got this out of some flea bag dump motel. I don't, I don't know where I got this. Now you guys are looking at this soap and you're saying, uh, Lamont, this is ridiculous. Look at this tiny soap. It looks clownish. This looks like something from some kind of a TV show where they talk about tiny soap for five minutes. This is what I used. It's, it's, uh, what's the brand? It's Dove. Okay, Dove. That's, this is when I cannot find my, my liquid soap. I have to, I get this and I keep it in like a little weird area in my van. And that's what I had to use today. But it works. I don't like bar soap. I think bar soap is weird. I know, I know, I, yeah, some of you guys, you already know how I feel about bar soap. I think that only people that have been to prison several times use bar soap. I mean, honestly, who uses bar soap? I don't use bar soap. I had to use it today, but other than that, I don't use bar soap. I think it's weird. You're like bathing with something and then like, it's like weird. It's like, it's like, you know, I, I, I have a loofah or whatever you call it. And then I, I rub this on my body, my nude body, and then I put it back to use it again. That's disgusting, but it's only for emergencies. So hopefully I won't ha ever have to use that ever again until the next emergency arises. A little bit of an inside look into my life. Just a little bit. The neurotic person that I can possibly be at sometimes or another. And if you guys are OGs on my channel, you know that before soft soap, you guys know, very few of you, very few of you will know that before soft soap, I was a power stick man. Power stick was the Dollar Tree body wash. That they, they sell it still in Walmart and they also sell it in Dollar Tree. I would use power stick because power stick was almost as good as soft soap and it was only a dollar. And then uh, a disgusting, nasty bug spread by China came out called COVID, right? And then you had some people that were saying, listen, this probably came from China. There were some clues about its origin. And then you had a certain sector of people, I'm not going to get into that, who who said that, you know, we were being racist and that's totally fine. Um, and then it ended up being that it did, you know, come from China. And a lot of people died. A lot of people continue to die. And after that pandemic was over, all of a sudden the power stick turned to water. It turned to water. So every power stick bottle of body wash that gets sent to Dollar Tree is like 50% water now. It's absolute trash. Absolute trash. I haven't even attempted to buy a bottle of it from Walmart because it's garbage. It used to be for a dollar. It was fantastic. Now it's just, it's just trash. Not only, not only after, after the COVID, not only did everything, and you guys, you know, a lot of people don't realize this because you don't really look, you know, because you guys, you know, we're busy with our lives. We're picking up our kids. Uh, we're worried about our kids. We're driving to work. We're in traffic. You know, we're like, uh, screw this. Like, let's look at social media. Ah, do I have any likes? Yeah. yeah. How many views did I get today? Oh, that video got, you know, you know, we, we do that or whatever. And we don't really pay attention to the cereal boxes getting smaller and the price getting higher and that's what that's what happened with covid it seems like every manufacturer when it can when it comes to uh food uh hygiene products uh anything along those lines everything got less and the price went up just enough to recoup their cost call it the new normal the only thing however that has not shrunk i guess is alcohol or cigarettes there would be a, a, a there there would be a nuclear meltdown if you know uh rj reynolds decided to put uh 18 cigarettes in the pack instead of 20 so they they what they weren't able to do that however how do we know that they didn't start making cigarettes just a half an inch shorter they do stuff like that because you may not notice that 
But if they can save just a little bit off of a million parts, then, well, there, I'm just, I'm, now I'm just kind of going blah, blah, blah. So you, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, so blah, blah, blah. Uh, any musician's grave you want to see but haven't yet? Scott Weiland. I don't know if he has a grave. I haven't even looked his story up. Uh, I was actually reading an article about his kid. I want to interview his kid. I, I Did I send him a message on Instagram? I don't remember. Um, number one musician's grave that I want to visit? Probably Scott Weiland. And again, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't even know if he has a grave or not. I have no clue. Uh, I know he died in Minnesota. So I, I haven't even, I haven't even really looked into it because I just, I want to save it for a time where I'm like, you know, cause Scott Weiland is, he was the guy that actually brought me like that. That's when I knew I loved rock music was when Stone Temple Pilots came out. That when, when Stone Temple Pilots came out, man, that like, like like, what was the first album that I listened to from them? Was it Purple? I don't think I knew their first album. I think it was their second album when it came out. And I was like, Phew. it was just weird. I'm like, these guys are, like, that's when I knew I love rock music was because of Stone Temple Pilots. And they're still in my top. I You know, if if I say, you know, my top five favorite singers, Scott Weiland's in the top five, him, Boy George, um, God, who else would it be? Um, top five favorite singers. You know, I got I got to throw Michael Jackson in there. Even though there's allegations. Uh, who else would it be? Who's who's the third and the fourth? Who, who, the fourth and fifth. Um, I don't know. I'd have to really sit and think. But they're definitely... Stone Temple Pilots is in my top three favorite bands of all time. Love Stone Temple Pilots. Other than that, like going to musicians' graves, I mean... You know, uh, Jim Morrison, he's buried in Paris. One day I'll get out there. Might be the summer, who knows. Uh... I don't think there's a musician that's dead that I'm like all into their music. Buddy Holly is um, curious to me. Uh, curious as to, I mean, no, Buddy Holly was a good musician. He was ahead of his time. He was overrated. I'll just say that Buddy Holly was extremely overrated to me, but for his time, Buddy Holly is like Nirvana of the 1950s ahead of their time. Looking back on it, overrated. Still a very good musician. Uh, he's in uh, Lubbock. I don't know. Maybe I'll go out there. I, 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 I think for the for the month of February, the rest of January going into February, I think I'm going to stay in Texas. So I might venture over to West Texas. I might do his grave. I might go down to El Paso. I might go down to the border. I want, to, I want to do a video about the border the border crisis. I just don't know what, exactly what city to go to. We'll figure it out. We, we will see. Okay, well, you, you make sure, my dear, that you look up all those, all my videos. Make sure you get uh, all the back ones. Uh, Simply their adventures with the $4 Super Chat. Thank you very much. $4. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, do I have an address? No. I, I, I don't. And lovely Latoya putting her money where her mouth is again with the $9.99. I pro I, wow, 30 bucks. I probably won't see her for the next four months. She's already given me enough. Thank you very much. <sighs> Appreciate it. Thank you guys for the, for the donations, for the support. I know you guys, don't, again, don't have to give me anything. But your money goes to a very good cause. Me. What smell scent does it have? 
Uh, what, what, the, the coconut, the, the weird one? Talk about this one? Let's smell it. It smells disgusting. I want to throw up. It's just like a nasty, disgusting cream color. Ugh. Thanks for making me nauseous. Uh, go go to the no no and Trisha Foreman. Yeah, I think go go to the no no. Don't you like uh, don't you like bar soap? Didn't she say that she used bar soap? Yeah, you got some you got some bar soap people in the building, huh? Yeah, a bonza buddy. You wish, you wish. Yeah, no, we don't we don't do Dollar Tree. Yeah, we we we, uh, we know we know we don't do that on here. We don't do that on here. I don't do bar soap. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know. I'm a uh, body wash kind of guy. That's just that's just how I roll. So that's just how I roll. That's just how I roll. Anyways, um, I, I would I would put my name on it. Oh, by the way, speaking of which. I want to see, I'm going to see, I want to see really quick this, and I, I, I might, I might talk about this on my other channel, but you know, I, I, listen, uh, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to start any, any YouTube drama. I'm not trying to start any YouTube drama. That's not what I do. I don't like YouTube drama because all it does is um, creates drama. And we all know that you guys don't like drama, right? I know a lot of people say, don't make drama videos, but you'll be the first one to watch them. You love my drama videos, right? I mean, who doesn't? But uh, I, 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 guys, you can, you can, I'm just, you guys can guess who I'm speaking about all you want. Guess who I'm speaking about. It's up to you. I'm not going to say the YouTube channel. I'm not going to say the name. It's up to you guys to decide who I'm speaking about. There is a certain YouTuber. I know at least, okay, there's 250 people. I know at least 20 of you in here know who they are. And I have not liked this person for a long time. And it's because they're a douchebag. They're just a douche. They're, they're the type of YouTuber I don't associate with. I will never work with. I would never, like now, I'm not going to lie. It would be a good collab for both of us. Like they they wish not now no I take that back they don't wish, but if if they knew that I liked them, they would totally do a collab video with me. But I don't like them because they're a douchebag. They they're just they're they're the YouTuber that I don't. You're, they're just douche. They're just douchey. They think that they're bigger than they are. They think that their videos are like really great and they're not. Right. So, uh, so this this douchebag YouTuber, he he had a big channel when I was like when I was still washing dishes, and I would watch Camo Dave. Sometimes he would talk about him. So a channel today, I'm not gonna say the name. They did a funny like, parody video about them. So this YouTuber that I'm speaking about, I'm not gonna say his name. I believe he's gay. He talks gay. He acts gay. He's very effeminate. He has the voice of a prepubescent 13 year old farm boy from Nebraska. And oh, that rain is coming down. And I did, they did a funny video today. And I've been, man, and even me. And I, I won't say an, another YouTuber. I won't say his name. 
we talked about him like before and we both believe he's gay and this guy's like yeah i'm getting married <laughs> <laughs> to a woman and I seen this video and I said you gotta be kidding me I, I, maybe this isn't the channel for that or whatever I don't know but if, if you guys know who I'm talking about then you know whatever but I thought it was the, the funniest thing and at first, I, I didn't like this channel at first because, like, the voice, I didn't, I don't like robot voices, but the channel kind of, that kind of sort of grew on me. And then, uh, and then I seen this damn, like, with that guy, and I said, you got to be kidding me. I said, there's no freaking way this, this dude is straight. He's not. He's gay. He reminds me of one of those, uh. What are you, what are the, 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 the Christian guys who are gay, but they're trying to like pray themselves straight? It's one of those guys. It's like, geez, dude, just be yourself. Jeez Louise. So, I'm not gonna say his name. I'm not gonna say his name. But um, you guys can guess. You, you guys can, you guys can guess who it is. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Uh, whatever you think. Uh, Malay UI with the 1999 again. Bam! Thank you, my dear. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to take that money. And I, I would I would buy more bird seed, but my van's not doing too good right now. I can't carry any more weight. So, uh, next bag's on you. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. You just bought me a 40-pound bag of bird seed so I could fill up bird feeders. Because that's, I love to do it. I just love doing it. It makes me feel, like, good. I just love doing it. It's just, I don't know. I, it gives me purpose. Or poipus. So, uh, anyways. So, uh... Uh, no, 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 I am, no, 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 um, did anybody guess it? No, 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 I, Bonsai Buddy will get it, Bonsai Buddy will get it, uh, no, no, uh, Does this, this 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 Mario know what I'm talking about? Um, I mean, I have the money to go to the dentist. I'm just scared because I I I'm, I think I might need a root canal because the, the cavity I've had the cavity for too long. So, and I, I definitely need to get my my teeth cleaned. I'm actually gonna contact. I'm gonna I, actually I, I forgot to text my friend. To see if she wanted to go uh, into uh, Juarez. We were supposed to go in January, but I just got burnt out on traveling. But I was going to hit her up and say if you want to go uh, maybe uh, at the end of February. So. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, good guess about about him. That's a good guess. No, no. Uh, I don't. I don't really. I don't watch him. But he, yeah, no, that's a very good guess. I would have actually, if I were you, I would have guessed the same. No, not him. Uh, Misty, listen, I'm not saying anything. So that's that's up to you. If you're going to be spreading these false rumors and, and allegations in any window, maybe you should go do that in another channel. Because I'm not, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, but that's that's pretty that vitriol that you're spreading. It's not right. It's not right at all. So. Let's just pray for his soul. 
it says pray for his soul because uh, uh, you know you know the the things that he likes to do behind closed doors supposedly it's a sin i'm not a bible thumper i say you do whatever you want to do but it's just you know that the, the thing is i don't watch this guy's channel it but i will say this and and the video will be made the video i, I will be doing a parody video I just like I was actually supposed to be doing it with um with uh what's his face? Uh I forgot. Um but um I tr soon, I don't know when, not even soon. One day there will be a parody video and it's going I think it'd be funny. And it, it, it's the funniest damn thing to watch this guy talk about his girlfriend <laughs> when it's like dude, he it's obvious that you are gay. Like, it's not even... It, it's funny how ridiculous he sounds. That's like... Um, I'm trying to think. Who's the gayest person that's a celeb... That's like RuPaul talking about, Yeah, so my wife... I'm gonna... I love my wife and I'm gonna marry her. It's like... Am I on planet Earth? Jeez Louise. He's the gayest dude on YouTube. He's the gayest. He's 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 as gay as Magic Johnson's kid. Like this dude is tragically gay. It's it's he's so gay, it's funny. It's funny how he tries to act like he's a straight person. It's like, dude, like you are the most effeminate. Dude, he Boogie two nine eight eight is more of a of a man than he is, and Boogie is a, a huge cuck. Maybe I shouldn't say that because I was actually wanting to reach out to him for an interview, but I don't think he'll do it. So who cares? I was actually legit serious. Like I'm legit want to interview that guy. I think, I'm getting, I think I'm getting a little bit too rough for this channel. Maybe I should start streaming on the other one. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm getting a little bit too uh too wild for for YouTube on this uh, channel. <sighs> so I don't know. But um Too Tall Rob, that would be awesome of you getting a video with Boogie. What? You watch that guy? No, you don't. You don't watch him, do you? You watch him? Why? I mean, you like video games? You like 50-year-old men talking about video games like they would play when they were 12? And then they, they complain about what their mother did to them and how they yelled at them? I mean... Oh, by the way, um, one of the best... Uh, call-ins I've ever had was uh, was with uh, Too Tall Rob. Like, I, dude, that was an awesome story when you were talking about how you and your friends like, when you took that boat down the Mississippi River, that was awesome. I love that story. I think about that sometimes. I'm like, I would love to do something like that. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm going to do something like that one day. Like, maybe not like a, like a boat, but I'm going to do something like maybe with my scooter or, I don't know. I, I want to I wanna go on another scooter trip. Yeah. Uh, great visitations. He flattered me oh so. From the uh, country of Scotland. Where they talk like this. They talk like this. And then they're serious when they talk. Can you imagine waking up every day and you go outside and someone's like, Hi, how are you doing? And you're like, <laughs> you got to think to yourself, this is their accent. This is not, they're not being funny. This is how they normally talk. And then you say, hey, I'm doing good about yourself. Oh, I'm doing fine. Now, what are you going to do today? Oh, just going to go outside and maybe mow me lawn and then probably go outside and bomb something. Something like that. Maybe maybe set off some explosives or something. I don't know. What are you going to do? Definitely not be shooting anything because we don't have no guns over here. We ain't got no guns over here. Bang, bang. No, you ain't got, you ain't got no guns. Guys ain't allowed to have guns over there. 
Yeah, but at least we're not violent like you violent Americans with your guns. And listen, any any foreigner who says that like America, oh, you're violent with your guns. Well, you guys created us. Hey, we didn't just come over here and just, uh, we got guns now. This, this, we were created by the Queen's uh, tyranny. So, I don't know. I'd rather be here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it's like over there. I'm sure it's quaint. One day I'd like to go over there. Totally, totally would love to go. I would love. Listen, if I could afford it, which I can, I would love to go over to to the United Kingdom and just chill out for three months. And do and 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 work and do some content. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I, I'm I'm fairly certain, and I have not investigated. Like I've never looked up. I forgot what. What do you live in? Scotland, Ireland? So pretty much the same country, right? I'm pretty sure there's true crime in Ireland, and and, and I, I can't wait for the day when I do the video, and I'm like, what is going on, YouTube? Lamont at large today. I'm in you know whatever city. I and I'm in Ireland, and today we're going to talk about the case of the Mad Maddie, or whatever. I don't know. Something. I don't know. Who knows? One day I'll do it. One day. Uh, Mary Messevier. Ooh, that's a, that's a fancy, fancy. Uh, from uh, Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. What up, what up? And Richard Panati, what's up? Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And Amy G from Australia. What's up? Uh, you know, listen, the... Uh, the the, the uh, boogie documentary, it was okay. I'm not gonna lie. I watched it. Yeah, I was on the elliptical at the gym. I watched it, and uh, you know, it's, he's just a crybaby. That's it. I'm just. I want to interview. I want to interview him just to be like, yo, bro, you're a grown man. Grow up. Okay, you got some childhood trauma. Grow up. Grow up. You know what you did is, you know, because you're so weak minded that whatever trauma that you had you escaped it by playing video games and then eating junk food and sitting around getting fat and then you took it to the next level and then you became obese and then you found youtube which was your saving grace and it only just but gave you an outlet to complain about your pathetic life i mean that that guy is i don't know the the, the other guy they're they're both about the same they're both like the biggest betas on youtube but uh, some of you guys might like them so so yeah, uh, that mustache is crazy, Lamont. You know, ever since Fyb J Main, I, I like I like Fyb J Main. I, I I mean I, I I do like him. I watch his YouTube channel. I like Fbg Butter. Uh, I, I like all these you know the Chicago personalities. Ever since he, I, what I can't stand is when people like mimic the sayings of other people. It's like. That mustache is crazy. Yeah, well, it's like, okay, yeah, FYBJ May says that. I don't know. Okay, it's crazy. And then and then the thing that sucks is that they think it's funny, right? Uh, you know what's funny, too, is that, uh, wait, let me see. Oh, you know what? It's uneven by a little bit. Yeah, see, I don't got that part right there. Thanks for catching me out, homie. Okay, I cannot continue to stream because I got to... Yeah, it's a little bit... It is crazy. You're correct. I didn't notice it until now. It is crazy. Because uh, I shave. I shaved in my left blink... Uh, my left driver mirror. All right, guys. I got I to gotta, I gotta go trim it up. Give me one minute. I got to get my shoes on. Do I have my slides in here? Uh, let me see. Hold on. Do I have a razor in here? No, I don't think I do. Oh, I do. Uh, but this is going to be painful. That's funny. I'm like looking for a razor. It was on the floor. Okay. Obviously, I got to fix this. Because because he... I try to like... See, this is what happens when you try to go back on a, on a comment and it fails. Like I, I try to, I'm like, yeah, but if why beach, and then he's like, but he, what he said was true. It is crazy. So I apologize. You got me. 
and I'm going to correct the situation. It is crazy. And I got the solution. All right, guys, let's just let's just correct this because this this can't fly. It is crazy. All right, what would FYB J Main say? Do your homework. <laughs> do your homework. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fix this. God, it's gonna hurt though. Okay, a little bit more. Is that it? What's sad is that like most of you guys are gonna be looking at the mustache for the rest of the stream to see if it's like un even still or uneven. But this stream will be deleted after I'm done. Damn, he, he was right. It is crazy. And here I am talking down about him. I'm sorry. I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't care. It's as even as I can make it. Okay? But it is crazy. And hopefully, it's not that crazy anymore. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, they don't have guns, but they have plenty of stabbings. I was just watching like a like a quick five-minute little like like thing about the all the stabbings that happened in the United Kingdom. Listen, hey, I can't bring uh, any weapon into their country, but let me tell you, when I get there, the, y y guess what? Guess what? The first thing, if, if if and when I get to the United Kingdom, guess what? The first, like in the first day or two, guess where I'm going? Yeah, I, I, I well, I won't tell you, but it will it will be to a place to make a weapon. I will constantly carry something on me. When I'm going over there, I'm going over there like how I'm going to New York. And when I go to New York, I don't care about their laws. Hey, FAFO. If you see me, FAFO, it's on you. And it's going to be FAFO over there too. I might not be able to bring whatever, but I can I can make something happen. And I will always make something happen. Hopefully, that won't be an issue though. But I'll figure something out. I will figure something out. Uh, I need it from Studio City. Oh, oh, Studio City. I wonder. Well, you live in a very. You live right next to my 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 boy, Meth Mike. He lives over off of Sepulveda and Magnolia. You should go holler at him. I mean, I'm not not in that way. You should just go say hello to him. Farley Hill, long time no see, my friend, from the BB channel. Handguns are banned in the United Kingdom. Well, listen, I I, I know that, but we got to make something happen. We're not going blind. I'm just not. I'm not going to do it. There's an army surplus store. There's something that I can figure out. Trust and believe. We're going to figure something out. Yeah, we're going to figure something out for sure. Flash out. Flash out. So yeah, uh, come back to Richmond, got hella stories. Oh, trust me, I know. Trust me, Richmond. I got to go back to that, uh, the uh, Jiffy Lube that tried to rip me off for that oil change. Yeah, we're going to go interview them. I got to go back over there. Um, I got to go to the Hollywood Cemetery. I got to go vlog that place. Uh, Richmond. Yeah, Richmond is one of those cities. It's Richmond is like Kansas City. It doesn't get a lot of press, but uh, yeah, a lot of things happen. It's like there's plenty of big cities. Actually, you know, I I don't know if Richmond would be able to support a professional sports team. I mean, well, no, because you got D. Well, DC is what a hundred miles away. 
that that area washington dc is it's a it's like a weird because like washington washington dc is like the east coast right but to me and i don't know if anybody else feels this way but uh when i'm on the east coast right you know wash you got washington dc the streets are small the city's terrible it's it's ridden with crime you can't drive anywhere well in the epicenter you can't really park anywhere it's better if you go in there like just doing Uber or Lyft. It if you want to avoid the freeways, it takes forever, forever during rush hour. But I tell you what, when I'm on the East Coast and I've been there for like five months and I'm tired of it, drive. What 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 is it? The 95 leaving DC for 20 to 30 minutes and it's like DC's like East Coast congested traffic everything is crazy and then drive go leave DC go towards Richmond 20 minutes later you're like oh. it's like you know you go into like Alexandria Alexandria and then it's just like v, like VA is a weird state. Like I don't really think I don't think anything negative about that place. It's just whatever. Virginia's like it's like Virginia to me is like um it's like whatever. It's like I don't think anything bad about it. I don't like it. I don't hate it's not that I hate it. It's just whatever. Uh look forward to getting out that way. And uh, you know, Richmond is one of those cities that you kind of just bypass when you're going to DC or you bypass when you're going to North Carolina, but hopefully I will be able to, you know, th those are the types of areas that I want to stay in for a while. You know, I want to go to Norfolk. I want to go to uh, uh, Hampton um, or whatever that town is uh, on the coast. And, uh, you know, I did for a little bit. I was out there, but I didn't, I didn't, you know, I wasn't out there too long. So, yeah, no, I mean, you know, you know, before I leave this earth, I got a, a lot of ground to cover just in this country alone. So, yeah. Uh no, not not no, not Hilton Head. Um no, it, it, Hampton. Isn't it Hampton? Hilton Head is South Carolina, which I have not been, but the video that you did that crazy thumbnail for, that's where that kid is from. I, I like I, I'm. That is the most curious video I of all the videos I have ready to go. That video, that thumbnail is the most curious. I I, I cannot. That is the craziest thumbnail on my channel. Like I, like every time I look at it, I'm like, what is this? It is the most. It's not that it's funny. It's just you don't know what you're looking at. I want like every week I want to put that video up because I just I want that. I I just I'm dying to find out how many views that video gets and i'm just dying to read the comments because i don't even know where in god's name you found that picture it's just it's let me go look at it real quick should i should i show people on the stream what i'm talking i don't know never no probably not should i hey do you think i should show them Do you think? I, it, it, wait, hold on. Where where is it? Yeah, that's, it's not funny. I'm just like, it's. I I don't even know. Like I I don't. Did I even ask you where you got that from, or did you make that? I have no idea. Like, and and it's 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 perfect because it's subtle. It's not in your face. It's like when you're like you're like. That's what you do. You're like, what? Even I would click on that. It's 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 the most it's the most clickbaity thumbnail of the whole like ever. But it's 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 not click. It's just I don't, it's weird. So <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, Stephanie Burt Reed from Urbana. Uh, Urbana is in the building. Urbana. What's in Urbana, Ohio? Urbana. Wait, hold on. Let me go look in the uh, maps. Isn't Urbana by uh, south of uh, Cleveland? Right? I I've been to Urbana a lot of times. So I, I should already know where it's at. Uh, 
No, it's not. Urbana is north of Springfield. Okay, well, um, I've definitely been there. And uh, I was there not too long ago. I was in Dayton. Technically, this is weird. Yeah, I was in Dayton on uh, like Christmas Eve. I did a video there. I'm not going to tell you what I was there for, but it was to do a story that I missed. And I had no idea this story ex I knew the story existed because I remembered the story from when I was a kid, but I didn't know that the person had passed. And not to get into whatever, but I went to go get that story done. And uh, while I was in Springfield, uh, I did another story that I had another YouTuber we did a little collab on. So he voiced that. I, I can't wait for that video to come out. He did an excellent job um, uh, doing a voiceover for me because like I... Like sometimes some videos, I, I need a different voice. I it can't be mine. It has to be somebody else's, and he's the perfect voice for for stuff like that. So I use him. Uh, Life with Aaron. Uh, if you guys want to go subscribe to his channel, I've been I've been telling this guy because you know he has a career, he has a life. He's you know he does YouTube, but it's like, it's like he he does other things. I said, bro, you got a good like voice just to do like voiceovers where your voice isn't too commanding but yeah it's so so he did that on so i can't wait for that video to come out um i'm going to be going on lamont at large i'm going to be going to four back to four back to the regular four videos a week i think i'm going to start in two weeks um I, I, it's not that i'm nervous to do it i'm just like i feel like i'm like do i really need to do four videos a week but i want to because there's a lot of videos that i want to put up that they're short and quick so i think i'm just like let's just do four videos a week so we'll we'll figure it out as we go so i'll probably be laying off of the on the run channel for a little bit i'm not going to be looking for homes i'll probably ba bounce back and forth like every other month maybe i'll want to like go on the end on the run and do some more videos we'll see um but I, I need to get back to doing four videos a week so we'll start in two weeks um but urbana yeah, um, I definitely dr driven through there, and I was there not too long ago. I do like Ohio, and I do look forward to going back to Ohio. Ohio just I that's Ohio is just one of those states I'm like it's like Oklahoma to me. Very comfortable, people are friendly, normal. I, that's what I like. I like normalcy. Oklahoma, Texas, uh, Ohio, West Virginia. Uh, New Hampshire, Maine. Arkansas. Tennessee, not Tennessee, no. Ten people are, people in Tennessee, yeah, no, no. Indiana, eh. Oklahoma, Ohio, West Virginia, Texas, Missouri, Illinois, minus Chicago, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's a good state. Wisconsin? I just need to get that out. Florida's okay, but it's a bunch of weirdos, but... Um, Nevada outside of Las Vegas. Kind of, not really. Yeah, I take that back. Arizona, Arizona's all right. I like the Arizona. Uh, I spent some time there before I, I did YouTube. And uh, here comes the rain again. Yeah, I gotta get Baby Stick to put a solar panel. Baby Stick's got to do some more. Like, yeah, he's yeah he's got to get this. Yeah, we got to get this fixed. Yeah, I gotta get him some washers. Yeah, we gotta fix this part of the of the roof right here. Um, other than that, he did a good job. He did, he did a good job on this. This is what I wanted. The table on this. He did a great job on the table. Yeah. So the only thing I I, I didn't tell him to make me any cupboards because I didn't think I needed them. And now that I think about it, I don't want them. I don't. Want them. Oh, okay, okay. Well, and we'll see. We'll 
I'm not gonna lie, I expect the video to get, um, yeah, I, I expect the video to get 300,000 views. So if it doesn't get three, you remember what I, what I was telling you about that, the, the interview with the, with the homeless chick, if it doesn't get 250, I'm gonna be pissed. And it got, it's almost at 400. So I said 100 is like, okay. But if it doesn't get 250, I'm going to be like, that's a bunch of crap. And it, it exceeded. So this video, it needs to get 300. And I expect it to get, I don't expect it to get half a million just because the darker subject of it. But yeah, 300, just off the thumbnail. And, and the videos, the video is not super long. The video was actually only six minutes and 40 seconds. I added another video to make it longer than eight because YouTube, the algorithm, they like longer videos because then they get more commercials. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, I get more, I get more commercials too. So I added a little, I, I, I kind of felt weird for doing it, but certain videos, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Other videos, I don't care. That one, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. So we'll see. That video will not be up. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. Maybe February. We'll see. I don't know. We will see. Guy buried on his motorcycle in Urbana. I did that story. Yeah, he was buried on his Harley in the, ple in the plexiglass case. Me personally, your your grandmother. That's that's the best story. That's the that's the best story of anybody being buried in an unusual way. That's the best one ever. That, like that lady with the car, uh-uh. Your story, that was fantastic. That, that was, that was fantastic. Like, I, I mean, other than the sad, uh, you know, reason why I was there. No, it was a great story. Like, I loved it. Like that, that's one of my favorite stories on my channel. It's just like, I enjoy, you could obviously tell watching that video i enjoyed and i know i, I kind of made a couple like you know jokes or whatever but it would i didn't want it to be like grim and sad and no it, i wanted to you know a little bit light i wanted to be a little light you know it wasn't it's not i mean it's sad when someone passes but to you know it, it had such an unusual element to the uh to, to it just to me personally i don't know i and i'm not even i'm not doing that to, to to be nice i don't know any other story uh that i've ever come across that is as like cool as that one in regards to like an unusual aspect of somebody being buried with something or being buried on their in their favorite chair. No, that was that was cool as that was cool as hell. Uh, I I enjoy that very very much. So. And if anybody wants to know what I'm talking about, well, you can you can go watch the video, or or Cindy will tell you. Uh, but it, it was uh, awesome. I wish I could do it again because it was just it was cool. Like, I I enjoyed it, and it pissed me off when people were like, "Oh, she's keeping little kids' balls." Like, shut up. Don't throw and listen. If you want to go play, go do it at a park. Okay, this is a neighborhood. And she probably lived there. I, I kind of forgot the story, but I imagine she lived there for quite some time. And then she sees these clowns, these new families moving into the neighborhood, throwing their stupid balls. No, go to a park and go do that. No, yeah, this her, her street's not for throwing things up in the air and seeing where it lands. I'm on her side. Screw those kids. Hey, when I was a kid, you know what? I didn't grow up in a neighborhood. I grew up in like a city. I grew up in Los Angeles. So I, I don't know what it's like to live in like a neighborhood with houses. I don't know what that's like. All I know is, I, you know what I know what it's like? Living around big buildings, big cities, cars, traffic, honking, uh, crime, gangs. That's what I know. I don't know, like so the suburbs. That's that's foreign to me, in the sense when I think about it. It's normal to me now, but as a kid, 
as a kid, I'm like, you know, it's just weird. As a kid, I'm like, I can't, I, you know, I, the way I act as an adult, I can't believe I'm from Los Angeles. It's a weird, it's a weird it's, I shouldn't have been born there. I, I should have been born in Texas. I, I was actually supposed to be born in Texas. But uh, three months later, eh, my mother dropped me back in Los Angeles. So here I am. It's not my fault. So yeah. Mississippi? Yeah. No, Mississippi, I'm good on you guys. I, I like to go there because it's just different, but to stay for a long time, mm -mm. nope. Mississippi is not like. Listen, I'm not saying Mississippi is is a unfriendly state, but uh, Mississippi is super backwards. Now they got, mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope, no, uh, -uh. there is not one. The only part of Mississippi. That is cool is Biloxi, Gulfport, Pascagoula. That's it. Right there, the coast, the end. Any other part of Mississippi? Miss me. Uh-uh. You can keep that. You can keep that all day long. I don't want no part of it. Other than to go do stories, uh-uh. That that it's just Mississippi's got just too much. Um it's, got, it's just too it's too Listen, it, it, it's just it's it, it, it lives in the past and it like lives it up. It's just it's a whack state. It's one of those states that I don't care to. Other, I'm talking about just for content. Yeah, it's fine. I'll go. I'll go. Um, I'll go visit it. But other than that, nah. Like for a place to for me to go chill out. Yeah, Biloxi, Pascagoula, and uh, and Gulfport all day long. I love the I love the coast, right there. Uh, leaving, getting out of New Orleans, it is a relief to get out to that area. And even getting up to Mobile and then uh, Pensacola's right there. Yeah, that's cool. All that little coastline right there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Going up north, unless there's a story that I want to do. And there is a story in Mississippi, this, this, this elderly woman, I think she was, what, 100? 99 years old was murdered. I saw murder. Yeah, that's a that's cold lotion. Yeah, I, that that's the number one story in Mississippi I want to cover. I, I can't believe I haven't covered the story yet. Uh, every time I'm like, that's why I got to keep better notes for where I'm at. Um, I can't even remember what city she she was killed in, but she's definitely in my folders, and we will be covering that story for sure. Other than that. You know, Medgar Evers getting murdered. We're going to do that story in Mississippi. Um, we're going to do a, a video about Jackson, about, like, Jackson is effed up. Uh, that, that city is lost. Jackson, it's like, it goes along with, uh, with Richmond. This is one of those cities that gets active and nobody talks about. Jackson is just... Yeah, it, Jackson is uncomfortable. It's just it's it's slow. Jackson to me is like it's like a super mild Memphis. It's like all right, this ain't Memphis, but you still. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm giving Mississippi a bad rap. I have no idea, but uh uh, miss me with that. No, I I would rather be. I'd rather be in New Orleans, kind of. See, New Orleans is kind of crazy, but at least, you know, you can get out, go to Hammond or Slidell. You can leave 20 minutes. But Mississippi, it's like you're there. I don't know. In the future, I want to do more, you know, I'm not going to lie. I want to do more stories in Mississippi. Like, I want to do more stories in Alabama. I want to do more stories in Georgia, Florida, like the South. It's just I'm only one person. I can only do so much. And you know I don't want to be, you know, one of these 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 you know douchebags where I'm only like doing stuff in New York or LA or big cities. No, I, I like the unknown. I I like I like just you know okay nobody knows about this story. Okay maybe they do maybe they don't. Just shine a light on it. You know what I mean? Not every story needs to be 20 minutes. Sometimes it's five minutes. Sometimes it's just this is the point. That's it. There's no story to it. This is what happened, and it's bad. And I need to get back to doing more of those, like the quicker, 
to quicker videos and stop trying to like make everything like a big deal when it's not. I'm not a big deal, but you know, I just wanted to got a message to get out there. <clears throat> That's all. That's all. Uh, Sheila, three, four, 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 four. With the two dollars subject, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if there is a person, then uh, then uh, you know. By the way, uh, Kel, if you could put up the the video to to Cindy's grandma's video. I mean, you know, the video is kind of long. I think the people on this this channel don't really like care for that. But you know, put it up the 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 link. If they want to watch it, it was, it's just a good, it's just, I mean, I, I, yeah, I drew out the story because that's what I do. You, you can't, I'm, I'm not TikTok. I'm not going to be like, okay, in three minutes, okay, football, the end. No, it's like, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to relive it. Relive what possibly, they, what was going through her, her mind. Her neighborhood's being taken over by kids. She's from a time where everything was quiet and chill and she cared about her garden. And then she has these little foul, wretched little cretins throwing their balls, smashing on her roses. And she wasn't having that. She said, no, nah, we're not doing that. She actually, she, she actually grabbed a beer bottle and broke it. And then the shards. Well, she didn't do that, but I'm sure she wanted to. I would have. I would have took my vodka bottle and push. Is this your ball? I would have I would have took a broken beer bottle and stabbed that ball and then picked it up. Is this yours? Was this what you threw in my yard? Do you want this back? You're not getting it back. It's mine. I'm gonna start a football team now. I'm gonna I'm gonna start a football team and I'm gonna be the 32nd expansion NFL team. The, the uh, I'm going to be the, uh, <laughs> whatever. That's what I'm going to do. It's a great story. It's one of my favorite stories. It's, it's one of my top 10 favorite stories on that channel. It might even be the top five for sure. Your youngest son lives in Oxford. He has a great job with the U.S. Department of Justice. Oh, I wonder what side of justice he's on. It's not looking good for the federal government. Are you saying Oxford as in like Massachusetts? Is that where Oxford is or something? I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. Who knows? So. You live in Brandon, Missouri, Mississippi, very close to Flowood, Mississippi. Uh, Indiana Bursette. With the $2 super chat. Well, thank you very much, Indiana. The $2 super chat. Appreciate you. Uh, I, I, I don't know Mississippi. I don't know those cities. There, there, there's no city in Mississippi that I, I know that if somebody told me, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know that city. No, I don't. The only city I, I kind of know is Pascagoula because, like, that's the, <coughs> that's the city I've I've stayed in the most. It's it's because it's quiet. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like if if I'm live and I'm like, yeah, guys, live in Mississippi, I'm in one of those three cities. But now that I told you guys that, I ain't gonna say where I'm at when I'm in Mississippi. But um, I mean, there's other towns in Mississippi. It's just I, I just don't care for it. I need to wet my whistle. I just don't. It's just it's just not a. You want to hear a funny story? And it's not funny. It's, <clears throat> this This is what Mississippi is. I'm going to tell you a story that I was going to tell on my other channel, and I still will, but when I remember one day, this is what Mississippi is. You can, you can make of this whatever you want. It's up to you. This encompasses Mississippi. This story right here. You heard it first here. I'm in, I'm, I don't remember. I'm in, I'm in Greenville. There was a police officer that was murdered. I did her story really quick. That video will be up on my channel. Who knows? I'm in Greenville and you know, I, I'm parked for the night and I'm 
I'm in my van. I don't have the trailer at the time. <clears throat> so I'm just I'm in my van. I'm I'm not in the back. I'm in the front seat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who knows? I, I I'm just looking at my phone, looking for stories, whatever. I there's a car in front of Walmart. It's a black SUV mid 2000s suv black and it, and it, it is it's i notice everything wherever i'm at i'm i'm I, I i'm not like paranoid where i'm looking around i don't do that but i'm very I, i'm very observational and this car has been in front of walmart for over 30 minutes going on 45 and I'm just like kind of noticing it. I'm like, well, I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. Nothing. Maybe they're waiting for their, you know, mother or father to get out. I don't know. I wasn't even gonna go into Walmart, but I, you know, I, I just said, let me go get some Gatorade and some, you know, Diet Dr Pepper or whatever. So I, I walked to Walmart, and I walked past this guy in the car. He's just, he's just. It, Black dude, heavy set, sitting, chilling. I go into Walmart, 20 minutes, blah, blah, blah. I come out. Now, by now, it's already been, he's he's been outside for 45 minutes. I walk past him. He says, hey, bro, you, you got to jump. And I said, I turn around. I said, uh. Your car's dead. Battery's dead. He's like, yeah. And I said, try to turn it over. Let me hear it real quick. I, I just wanted to see how dead it was. So it just went clack, 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 clack. I said, all right, I'll be right back. So I, I walked to my van and I have like that little, um, I got jumper cables too, but I didn't really feel like, cause you know, it's just, it's just like packed away. It's like all like, you know, it's all like, all tight together it's like i don't want to undo it because then i gotta do that so i got like a little i got like a little um you know i i got one of those things it's like this and it has the cables right 50 bucks on amazon so i go i i walk to my van come back and you know the the, the thing that i have it's only able to jump certain batteries so I'm not sure if it can jump his battery. It just depends on how dead it is. So I, I hook it up on there, and I said I told him to turn it, to turn it over, like start it. I said all right. I said just just wait thirty seconds. We wait thirty seconds, and I said okay, start it now. It starts, and he's like all right, man. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. And I asked him. I said. How long were you out here? I said, I thought you were waiting for somebody. I said, you've been out here for a minute. He said, man, he goes, man, I've been out here damn near an hour. He was stuck. <laughs> Nobody would give him a jump. I, like I, I said, that that's Mississippi. I'm like, nobody will give you a jump. And then he, like, and this dude was young. He was only, like, he's probably 20, 21. I said, hot, that, that's Mississippi. That's, that's it right there. This dude was dead battery in front of Walmart, and nobody jumped this car. As soon as he started, he bailed out. I told him, I said, bro, I said, whenever you get paid, I said, go on Amazon and buy this damn thing. It's $50. Everybody, everybody should carry one in their car. Don't ask anybody for it, especially if you're a woman. Nope, just go on Amazon. They're, you know, 50 bucks, maybe they're 75. Pick it up. It's not worth it. You don't need to be asking, who hey, do you have a jump? Nope, I got it. Don't worry about it. I got that thing, and I'm actually, I don't have it yet, but I'm going to order something for my Jackery that we can plug in with the clips. So I'll, I'll have two things. So if I ever have a dead battery and I got AAA too, I'll I'll worry about it then. I I do not like asking people for a jump. 
because I know what it feels like. And it sucks. Hey, do you have a jump? Oh, uh, no. All right, well, I got my own jump. That's Mississippi. That is Mississippi. Am I wrong? Not at all. I'm correct 100%. <sighs> Yes. Uh, do more UFO stories. Uh, Pamela, woo! Tim, is it really? Yeah, no, I, trust me, I have one in Texas. I'm going to try to get done before I leave. Yeah, we want to get that done. Um, there's a collab in the works. Can't say what it is. We're going to do that. Um, another collab in the works. We'll do that. Yeah, no, I, 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 you know, UFO stories, like, you know, they're far and few between, but, um, no, I, 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 I am very interested. There's one in Oregon <laughs> that I want to do. Nevada. I don't know if I could do that one or not, you know, but I, you know, yeah, as they come to me. Trust me, uh, maybe we should make a folder for UFO stories. That way I know where they're at. Hmm? Maybe. Folder? I think there should be. I think I think we should add a UFO folder. I think we should do that tonight. I would do it, but I don't know how. But maybe we should. Maybe we should do a UFO folder because I'm interested in the content. I'm interested in telling these people's stories. Regardless of the fact, if anybody believes it or not, I'm interested and I don't want to give out too much information, but when we get to the West Coast, there's going to be a kind of a wild story where it's, I, I'm just going to leave it at that, but we're going to go to the location of where it happened. And I would like a UFO folder. Yes, a UFO folder. I would like it. I would like it created tonight, so I can add, and we will start covering it. Thank you for the, the uh, suggestion, uh, Mr. Mr. Keith. Is that your name, Mr. Keith? Corinth, Mississippi. Never heard of it. Don't know where that's at. So. Uh, Aquanda Evans is in the building. Yeah, but why Why waste a call? Why Why waste a call when you can just, you know... That's getting kind of hot now. I got to take this thing off. Whew. You only got four calls a year. You know, you better save them for when you really need it. Why Why call for a, for a jump when you could just go ahead and just jump yourself? <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Just saying, that's that's my. I got triple A, and I haven't had to call triple A, wet like two years. I got triple A, and my insurance, my car insurance has four things. So I got eight. I got eight ways to. Got eight ways. To figure myself, yeah, yep, yep, yep. We 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 want we, yep, people want UFO, yep, and they will always go on the main channel. I'm not gonna put them on FG. They will be on my main channel. I did the I did the, I visited the Betty and Barney Hill. I did that video. I did it with uh, Drew from Mad Cat Mysteries. By the way, if you guys don't know who Mad Cat Mysteries is, uh, I, we did a collab on his channel about uh, To Catch a Predator. So you guys should go check that out. And um, uh, I look forward to possibly doing future videos with them. Uh, I've collabed with him a, a few times over the last like five years. It's, it's, been, it's been about that time, like four, like five, four or five years, three, four or five years, something like that. And, and if you like UFO stuff, go check out Mad Cat Mysteries. Uh, Kale, can you please put up the link to his channel? He's he, Some of his uh, videos, like, they go back, like, where they're, like, a minute and a half, two minutes. Like, they're fantastic. Like, 
they're, they're really, really. Go look at his videos about the moons from Mars. Fantastic. The, the, go look up the, uh, the the monolith. That's that's my favorite video that he did. It's only it's only two minutes long. It's just a it's a great video. Very, I'm very, very fascinated by astronomy, um, planets, solar systems. I know I haven't looked up enough of that stuff since, like I've I've done Lamont at large, but that is a, a I don't want to say a passion, but I'm very interested. As you know, it's just it's not in my realm of what I do on YouTube, but I I. I yeah, no, we got we got some. Uh, I got some I got some videos in the work, for sure. Uh, I just got to get close to them. As a matter of fact, one of the main videos about UFOs that I want to do right now, I'm not very far from right now, maybe 200 miles. So we will see. Uh, we we will definitely see. And uh, I'm glad I'm glad that I did the uh, the Jesse Marcel video. Uh, he's he <clears throat> excuse me. He's the one that uh, he was the he was the the sergeant that reportedly when uh, the guy that had the ranch in Roswell when the UFO crashed and he called like the police and then the military came out he was the one that was in charge when they were collecting the the, the wreckage and he brought it home to his house and he showed his kids he's like look at this crazy stuff. <clears throat> And then, but you know, he was a high-ranking member of the United States Army, so he had to. He couldn't really say anything, but even he told his, <clears throat> excuse me, even he told his kids. He said, "Look at this crazy crap." He goes, "He goes, what the hell is this?" It was like I think I think in the story, which was it was it was on uh, Unsolved Mysteries, and I also like read like S. Uh, um, excerpts of it like you know people were people in, the, in that episode they were like it was like aluminum foil how it is now except it was hard like like you can shape it it was just I, I don't remember exactly word for word what they said but I just remember that there was parts of the of the craft where you could like they try to bang it with a hammer and it wouldn't nothing you couldn't leave a mark and then there was other parts where you can like move it and it just it was a it was hard but you could move it it was, it was weird it's a weird story and of course there's another collab in the works waiting on somebody we're waiting on certain people so not on it's not on me it's on them where where we will go and i and i'm actually very excited about that but it's like dude like i'm wait it's not that i'm waiting it's like whenever they want to it's like, all right, man, let me know when you're in the area. We'll, we'll link up. So. Hey, 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 I'm everywhere and nowhere. So if they want to say like, hey, man, meet me there. Well, let's do it. I'm like, and, I, this, and that is a cool video because no one's done it. No one's done it. Which, it, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, I don't care if if nobody's ever done a video. Like I'm not into that. I'll do a video if somebody else has done it. I don't care. But it's always cool. Like if like people don't really look at it too much, then you're like, all right. But if if it's a video that people have already done, you're like, eh, I'll do it too. It's whatever. But um, <clears throat> but you you got to. Uh, I need to take a drink. <clears throat> <clears throat> When Baby Stick was putting this trailer together, there was this cat that was like always by his side. And I'm allergic to cats. And I was like, the cat's in my trailer. But I, I didn't say anything. And I'm not I'm not feeling the, the cat. Like I, trust me, I would know. There that damn cat, when he everywhere he went, that cat followed him. Like that, like they, like when I did that trailer, the video, there's a cat that follows him. Like it's his buddy. I think his name is Buddy. We didn't put him in the video, but like this cat will not, like this cat is always around him. It's like, if he's like doing something, the cat's there chilling. 
if he goes over here, the cat will follow him and just stay. It's like a dog. And um, why did I bring the cat up for? I have no idea. I just wanted to take a drink of Gatorade. That's all. But um, going back to the uh, the UFO stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to say what state that it took place. But, you know, it, you know it, it, if, you know, because there, there's other YouTubers that do travel stuff. They go show things and whatever. And it's always cool if, like, not really too many people talk about something. But it's not, like, I'm not obsessed with it. It's like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to be, I'm not special. I ain't nobody. I'm no better than a raccoon. But it's it's always kind of cool sometimes when you do a story and it, that's not talked about. And then sometimes, you know what? Sometimes I'm like, yeah, people have already talked about this story to death. And I'm just going to put my own spin on it. Like, I've been wanting to do a video about an overdone subject or, vi or, or a subject of a video. And it's overdone. And I'm going to do it because guess what? Nobody, nobody has ever put their, like, see, that's the thing with me. I, listen, I ain't smarter than anybody. I'm not more crafty than anybody. But I, one thing that I have away from other people, I'll put my spin on it. I'll put my spin on it. And this story, I'm not going to say what it is, but I, I don't even think, I, I don't even know if I can do it this year. Because it's very encompassing. Because there's a lot of locations. And it's like something that you... It's something that I need to like... For a month... Not focus on for a month. But for a month, I need to be in a certain area. And I, I don't know when I'm going to do that. But this story... Oh yeah. Nobody ever... No, no TLC channel. No history channel. Nobody has ever done this before nobody and i'm like i i can I, i'd love to do it i'm gonna do it i just i don't know when and the other story that i'm talking about with the ufo stuff no one's done that either no one's done it you know everybody on youtube they do the same you know prototypical you know they, this person got murdered that person got murdered this serial killer killed them here. Oh, this serial killer. Oh, Charles Manson. It's like, dude, how many times can you go with that story? It's like, okay, we already know Charles Manson's a piece of filth, garbage, scumbag, idiot. How many times can you revisit that damn story? Who? Okay, I'm not saying who cares because when you look at the crime scene photos, Charles, like they butchered that woman. Like. People like, you know, people have some kind of, you know, and it's everybody, right? Like me personally, when it comes to serial killers, I think they're scumbags. I don't, I don't particularly care to glorify them. Like when it comes to Ted Bundy, Ted Bundy was a piece of filth. You know, it's like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand the fascination with Ted Bundy. Because people swear up and down this guy was good looking. No, he wasn't. He was a, a, an average looking dirtbag. And he preyed on, on young women. And he murdered them. And like, oh, Ted Bundy, uh, he was... And then Netflix is... Who? Dude, Ted... You know, and I, and I even... I even... You know, try to jump on the train of the serial killer uh, interest... And I'm just not interested. Like, like Ted Bundy on my channel doesn't do good. Like his videos, it's like it's just overdone. It's like who cares? Now, don't get me wrong. We will be re like. Trust me when I say this. Nothing is off limits on my channel. We will be discussing Ted Bundy in in, in separate videos. Like he's he's not a person to me that I want to focus on a on a one video anymore um him just any other serial killer but we will we will visit it you know like richard ramirez you know listen uh richard ramirez uh whatever it's 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 the it, it's an overblown story that i'm not terribly 
crazy about doing. I just like I don't really care. Uh, who else? Um, Green River Killer. Uh, he's another one. I, I, you know, I I wouldn't mind delving into the Green River Killer because there's there's multiple. The Green River Killer and the BTK kill like the BTK. I'll be doing something like in the future, but the Green River Killer. I wouldn't mind like doing like multiple locations because because there's so many victims. It's just it's 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 when it comes to me, like that's when I'm like you know if I'm interested or not. You know, but I, I you know, I, I've always been more interested in like the the lesser the lesser known cases and you know whatever. But uh, we we will we will come to them as I go. And um, you know, it's like about you know my channel is a balancing act. I'm not only doing famous cases. I'm not trying to do only unknown cases. It's just. It's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, a little bit of column C, a little bit of column D, a little bit of column E, a little bit of column, that's how my channel is. It's like a little bit of this, that, this, that. It's there. You guys can't tell me any subject, anything on my channel that I focus on. Nothing. I know I've been kind of like getting the motorcycle club stuff out because I, 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 cause I'm trying to get that out because I want to, I want. I want like the algorithm to know that like if you're looking for motorcycle club stuff, hopefully by the end of the year I'll have 20 videos, 30 videos. And if the motorcycle clubs don't like that I'm doing it, come and catch me. But I, I, I it's a, it's a subject that I've been interested about ever since I was 10 years old. I've I've been I've been looking and reading about motorcycle club stuff since I was a little kid, like in the 90, like in the in like 1991, 1992, see these, see these guys, you know, and you know, listen, between me and you, <clears throat> hey, listen, they're all a bunch of nerds. <laughs> these, these guys are not cool, but it's fascinating because they're the same as gangs. It's like you're a gang. It's like that. That's about the same interest I have is you're a gang, and they don't like to be. If you if you call them a gang, they'll punch you right in the face. And that and that's and that's if they're feeling like nice, they'll do a lot worse. So I want to get on that track. Um, the gang stuff. I don't have enough. I don't have enough time to do another channel for a gang stuff. I wish I did, but I, they'll, they'll, yeah, no, there'll, there'll be more gang stuff on the channel that's why it's like you know i gotta relax off of the on the run stuff because it's just i like doing it but it's like i gotta focus on the main stuff and um yeah i already have like how many motorcycle club videos do i have already ready to go i think i have two more wait do i have two more i have another one in las vegas i have enough i think that maybe one more in california and then I have I had another one in Georgia. I threw it away yesterday because I got something wrong. And I said, and, and, and you know, I could have I could have cut something out, but I said I'll just redo it. I don't got a problem. I said I'll just come back and redo it. I don't care. It's, it's it, if I get something wrong. Usually, a, a normal YouTuber will just re-edit it. I'll just throw it away. It's like we'll just come back to it. So I think the next motorcycle club story I got is. Uh, Might be talking about the banditos. Some nasty guys who have threatened me personally, but we'll still talk about them. Uh, so I got a bandito story from Texas. It goes back from the 19, uh, 1980s. It's a murder. And uh, we'll, we'll do that. And yeah, we're going to get more as I, as I, as, as you know, I know I'm behind, but as we go along, I know some guy, some of you guys, you know, they're not going to care for some of the stuff that I put out. It's just going to be a balance. It's like, you know, one story is going to be a cemetery. One is motorcycle club. The next is a famous grave. The next one is an unsolved murder. I just want to keep it like that. Like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I just don't want to like rely on 
a name. I, I, I just want to be like, like up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. That's what I like. I like, I like uh, Carnage. Not Carnage, but it's like the character Carnage when he said like, I like, what did Carnage say? In the comic book, I read it when I was like 15 or 14. He's like, I like chaos. He goes, the, he goes, the world is not fun unless there's chaos. Like I like, you know, YouTubers, they love when you're, YouTubers love. Guys, here's a little, here's a, here's a little, a little, uh, a little in on what YouTubers, YouTubers, they like when people, and I do, and I like it too, and I'm telling you guys this, they like it when their views go up and then people are stroking their, their ego. Oh, you're such a great person. You're such a great person. I love your videos. You're such a great person. They love that. You know, like, yeah, I guess I like it too. I don't get off on it, but you know, it's cool. Yeah. I like uh, adulation. But you know what I like? Because it, 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 it challenges me to think more outside the box. Like, you know, when I interviewed the cartel guy, okay, the video, it, it did. The video, I, I, you know, I was like, okay, it'll get 60,000 views. That's fine. It, it didn't. But it can, it can get more views later. That was one of my favorite videos I've ever done because the guy was legit. And like, I never talked to a guy who worked for the cartel who would tell me, yeah, okay, yeah, I did. And let me tell you, there was two stories that he told me that he's like, I can't say this on camera. But yeah, no, he's, he's, he's very legit. He worked for them. And uh, yeah, no, I, I, stuff like that I like. I, I wanna do more. I want to do more of those kinds of videos. And if they, you know, if they get like very light views, that's totally cool. Like, I, I don't care. I just, I want it, you know, whoever wants to go see it. And, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Just, uh, just, just, just kind of, blah, blah. kind of got diarrhea of the mouth right now. But yeah, so that's, that's what we got. Like, I, I want to like, just get more like, you know, I want to get the Facebook going more. The, the the TikTok, TikTok is like, eh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, definitely want to get. You know, it's always about views. It's it's not necessarily about subscriber count. Subscriber count is like a it's like a trophy. You know, right? You know, a, a subscriber count on a, on a YouTuber's channel. It's like here's a trophy. So, but then everybody got a trophy, right? So it's it's your views. That's what a YouTuber is looking at. But they also look at the subscriber count. And I do too. I look at the subscriber count. Right? I, I look at it too. But then I, I uh, the number one thing I always want to pay attention to is like the videos that are important to me and what the views they get because maybe somebody will shared the video, maybe somebody will talk about it, or I don't know, like, you know, the unsolved stuff, like the stuff that nobody, like, it's like, you know, eh, I don't know, whatever, okay, you know, subscriber count, whatever. Subscriber count. It's an arbitrary number, but, you know, listen, some people... Uh, they're more obsessed with the number than others. You know, we can't help that. Some people are more obsessed with the number of subscribers they have than anything. And there's many ways on YouTube that you can inflate those numbers, but... Some of us out there, we, we, we play by the rules, guys. We, we play by the rules. That's it. You know, you can, you know, you can look at that number and look at the next person and say, hmm, I only had more subscribers. Because if I had more subscribers, then that would tell everybody that I'm better. I'm more interesting. I'm more knowledgeable. I'm more intelligent, more fascinating doesn't always work that way because not saying you're wrong, not saying you're wrong at all. 
you could be all of the aforementioned. You could be more, you know, interesting. You could be more intelligent. You could be more sophisticated debonair. You could be more um, articulate with your words and more knowledgeable in the field of study in which you think that you're a uh, expert in. But, you know, it's not a fair playing field uh, oftentimes on YouTube and sometimes uh, people, you know, they see that it's not fair and then they take advantage. They take advantage of the system. And um, what are you going to do? Uh, Kel61. Oh, Aussie 10. Go grab a coffee on me. I love your channel, dude. You're awesome. A fan from Australia. Well, thank you very much, Kel61, with the Aussie 10. Hopefully one day I get to get out your way to Australia. My dream is, and this is not even, like, I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm I'm dead serious. Y you know what would, if I were to ever go to Australia, you know, and I'm so serious, you guys will probably think I'm full of it. Y you know what would, you know what I would get stoked on? If I could live in Australia for two weeks and work a regular job. And like rent a room in somebody's house and be a regular person and just like get a like work a job and like whatever job I find, like whatever, like I would love to do that. I would love to go to a country and just. Uh, that's what that's why I need to travel. You know what I mean? That's why I gotta go, and 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 I'm ashamed. Ashamed is a word that's a little bit harsh, but like I'm, not sad, but like it's like I've never been outside the country. Like, I went to the Bahamas, that doesn't count. And, I, you know, people like this, like, oh, I'm going to Holland. What? It's like, I just got to go. And I am going to go. My, my passport expires in August, so I, that's why I, that's why I got to go to, I got to go to Texas. I got to chill out. I can't, I can't be like, and, and I'm probably going to renege on what I'm, but I, I, I got to go to Texas and basically, for the next six weeks, I got to stay Texas, Oklahoma. That's that's it. Like I, that's it. I got. I want to renew my passport. I got to get my license. Blah blah blah. Yada 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 yada. But I I, I want to go somewhere, and I, I and I I want to meet people who live in other countries, and I want to just talk to them. And I want to film them, and I want to show you guys like what it's like over there. And I don't know what you guys, if you guys watch travel YouTubers, um, I've watched some of them. Um, particularly the travel YouTubers that I watch, they're from that country, and they kind of show like where they're at. Like, if you're talking like the European guys, uh, or not? Excuse me, not European, but like you know, Americans. Who's the one guy? Somebody sent me a link to a guy. He's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. You know, you know, you guys. If I if I talk about somebody like, oh, they suck, or what? No, this guy's pretty good. I was even actually thinking about reaching out to him. What's his name? Um, I don't remember. There was a guy that travels around. He's American. His his vlogs are pretty good. Yeah, like I I, I you know I I was I was thinking I said should I should I hit him up and be like hey man if you're ever in you know, but eh, whatever. I don't know. I don't need to reach out to him. I could do it myself. And that would be the best way because I could figure, I can make mistakes on my own and figure it out as I go. But I forgot his name. But it, but I, I watched about two or three of his vlogs. You know, like 30 minute vlogs. I watched him like one, one night as I'm editing. And I kind of have him right there where I'm like watching him. And now I mean, uh, it was interesting. Uh, Lamont is the only person on earth that doesn't have a favorite food. Yeah, no, I don't. Like, yeah, what what is, like, favorite food? Yeah, it, 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 you know, it's so funny that I say this because I, I should be, for, for being fat, I should have, like, oh, I love, it's like, th th no, I don't, I, there is no food that I'm like, oh, God, I, no. It's like, I don't, it's like, I don't care. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have, you're right, you are correct. I don't have a favorite food. I would say I like sushi, but it's not my favorite. So, yeah, you're correct, you got me, Troll Hunter. What about the Frito Bandito? He was a mustache 
wore a sombrero and carried a gun. He was counseled before it was... <laughs> we might do a story about that. Who knows? Um, but we definitely got to cover the banditos. And they do not like me. They do not like me uh, uh, from what I know. Or whatever. So, uh, But... Um, I need to relax doing great talk about how I used to be a taxi driver or security guard or girlfriend or how you like ordering chicken from Popeyes from John Helm. Uh, security guard job is boring. There's really no great stories from there. Taxi driver, uh, no really interesting stories. I wish the one guy, I, I, I do wish that when I was a cab driver, I, I do wish I did YouTube because, well, actually, no, I maybe, I don't know. When I was a cab driver, there was nothing interesting about my job. First of all, I, I couldn't do YouTube and be a cab driver. I'd be fired because the, the trolls would, would uh, call my cab company and, yeah, they'd get me fired. So th there, there would be there, – there, there never was ever a Las Vegas taxi driver that was a, a big YouTuber. It couldn't happen because the trolls would destroy his job. And I never thought about I – ne I never, ever occurred to me to to do videos while I'm in the cab because I wouldn't have lasted long I would have gotten fired and then what I would have done you know and you know I trust me <laughs> trust me I I have I have cool stories from when I was a cab driver for sure and um yeah uh, you know I, I miss those days for sure Yeah, those were, those were, you know, 2006, 2007. Just going to work, 20, 27, 20, excuse me, 28 years old. No no real debt, no kids. Could do whatever you want, can go wherever you want. You know? Uh, it, it, no, it was, it, was, it was definitely good times. And, uh, you know, I, yeah, I, I, I had... And it wasn't like I got funny stories from that, you know, but these are stories that I've already told. And then the stories that I have not told, eh, you know, it's, they're not really, they're not terribly fascinating. It's kind of just boring stories, taking people from dialysis to their home. I do remember, and I'll never forget this one. And I've told this before, but maybe a while ago, I'll never forget this lady. This was like a quick ride, 15 minutes, 15 minutes at best. I'll never forget what she said. 2007, I'm taking this woman, I pick her up and we're driving. I don't say nothing to her. And she says, how old are you? And I said, you know, maybe I was 20, 28 or something, 27, 28. And she says, she says, how many kids do you have? And I said, none. And she goes, oh, why, why don't you have any kids? And you can stop me if you've already heard the story. I know I've, heard, I know I've told this story on stream before. And she says, oh, she goes, oh, like it was weird. She said it like, oh, you poor baby, you don't have any kids, oh, so weird. And she goes, oh, she goes, don't do that. And I said, don't do what? She goes, don't do that. She goes, have kids. And I said, why do I want to have kids for? Her? And she said, she said, you got beautiful eyes. You're, you're a nice looking guy. She goes, why don't, why, why do you not want to pass that on to some children? And I, and then I looked at her in, the, in my rear view mirror and she was a, maybe she was 40 chubby Latina. And I said, cause I like, you know, I like the, I said I I like being single. I don't want to be tied down. And she said, I'll never forget what she said when she said this. She said, you know, she said one day you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be an, an, an old man and you're gonna be in, in in your apartment or your home and you're gonna be alone and you're gonna regret not having children. That's what she said. And when she said this, I remembered this. Because I didn't think she was stupid when she said it. I, 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 I acknowledged it. And I told her, I said, 
you could possibly be right. I'm not saying you're wrong because you know I'm not I'm not a stupid guy. Like when people say things that either go against my core belief or somewhere along those lines, I acknowledge them, and that's how you learn as a person is like you you take in people's thoughts and opinions, and then you kind of sit on them, and you and you from them you you formulate the the positive and the minus, and then you kind of like develop your own opinion about life and i told her i said i'm not saying you're wrong i said i said okay i said but for right now i'm gonna you know keep doing what i do and i said i'll worry about that when i get to that point and i never that that is that is that is like one of the top two or three rides i never forgot because she's probably correct when i'm if i lord if he lets me be 70 years old 75 yeah, I, I probably will. But you know what? I won't give a crap because I'll just have a bunch of cats around me to feed. Don't be my kids. Like, I don't give a crap about, oh, I don't have a son to call. Who cares? Like, I don't give a crap. You don't, don't call me. I got Instagram. You know? I got Instagram. <laughs> I'll just post on there. I'm not going to be some, old, some lonely old man who's like, no, I just, I, 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 you know, those are for... What she what she said was explaining somebody who has no purpose in their life, and I have purpose in my life. Now this purpose may not be grandiose in the eyes of some, and it doesn't need to be in the eyes of myself. But whatever you do in your personal life that brings you purpose, or that you feel that it's your worth to the earth, go with it, and. You know, for instance, I like to I like to refill bird feeders. Now, if I didn't have YouTube, guess what I would do? If I didn't have YouTube, and like let, let let's say, and I'm just an example. Let's just say this. Let's say I don't like social media, but I want to live in the van. And I want to live my life. Let's say I want to live where the where the weather's good. I'm gonna go to Los Angeles, right? So let's say I'm in Los Angeles in a van, doing this. You know what would make me ecstatic? You know what I would do? This is what I would do. I would feed cats, right? I would have 100 bird feeders all over the area, and I would just go and refill them every day. I would love that. And nobody needs to see me. I don't need to take pictures. Look what I did today. I don't need to do that. I'm doing that because I enjoy it. That's what I would do. And, you know, it's kind of what I do. I wish I could do more, but I, I travel so much. It's like... You know, I don't know. I got like 20 bird feeders in my van. It's like, I need to get rid of them. Um, and I do, I just like to hide them in cemeteries. And like, I'll, oftentimes when I'm in the cemetery, it's like, it's hard to find a, a, a hiding spot. But my, my goal for 2024 is to put up way more bird feeders. As long as they're, uh, as long as they're not like crazy expensive. So, so I don't know. Oh, thank you, Kel61. She did. That's right, Bonsai Buddy. We don't cheat. We don't cheat on this channel. I don't know about the other channels, but uh, this one, not so much. Not so much. We don't cheat on this channel. But um, yeah, that that that's a that's a that's a ride I'll never forget. And yeah, she's she is correct. When I'm an old man, will I regret it? Yeah. How much will I regret it? Not very much. But you know when I'm when I'm like you know like let's say if I if I got to be 85 oh yeah totally man I, I wish I had like a little like a little stupid 50 year old stupid son but screw him who cares I don't need a son I have my trailer and my vodka and uh, my uh, Whole Foods has been sitting out for seven hours. And my cats, wherever they are. There's a cat over there I fed a couple nights ago. But, um, yeah, no, that I, I remember there was one cab driver from Las Vegas that was on, that he had a YouTube channel that he worked for my company. And I, I seen his channel, and I'm like, dude, this guy sucks. What was his channel called? Like the juggle, like the Las Vegas juggling cab driver. It was some stupid nerd. 
And I seen him one time, like in my at, at the yard when I was picking up my cab. I'm like, that's the guy on YouTube. I'm like, what a dweeb. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. If I knew now what I knew then, I'd have five million subscribers. I'd have five million. I'd be one of the like the OG YouTubers. I'd, I'd be like the uh, Markiplier or whoever the hell they're. You know, I'd have five million subscribers. But we don't know. You know, we don't know. And then you find a niche, and then you're like, okay, you kind of go with it, and uh, you know, you, you you go you go from there. Come down to Texas, Lamont. Eh, I'm pretty much there. Uh, am against it press. I don't know what to feel about that guy. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm like hot and cold on that guy. I don't know. I, he's a troll. Yeah. Yeah. I don't watch it. I only like, if I, if I accidentally run into his videos on Facebook, I'll like watch it for like two minutes, but he's a, I'm not into it. Because some videos, like, I've watched from him, I'm like, okay, you know, because, oh, I, you know, I, I'm sure he's a, he's probably like me, you know, he's, he's, he's probably an okay guy, but, you know, he, he has a job to do, right? But some of the videos that he's done, I'm like, dude, you're a creep. You're just a creep. <laughs> That's it. You're just a creep. And he is. But... People like that. People, they think that he's, oh, I'm doing a story. Dude, you're, you're antagonizing people. That's all you're doing. But he has the right to do it, and I'm on his side for for having the right to do it, even though he's a, he ain't, no, I mean, it's not like I dislike him. I'm just like, dude, some of your videos is like, it's like, some of your videos is like, all right, it's cool, because, you know, some of, people don't really think when they watch his channel, because I, I've seen enough of his videos to kind of gauge an opinion. Like, if I didn't know his videos, I wouldn't really have an opinion about it. But so, some of the people that have dealt with him, they know what he's up to. And they were, like, really cool. Because they're just like, dude, you're a dweeb. And we're just like, oh, hey, like, yeah, this is my business. And then and, and in the back of their mind, they're like, and then that's it. And then the other people that they're like, you can't do that. Like, that's what he wants because he's a troll. He wants to elicit uh, a reaction out of you. But I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't mind meeting him. But it, I, I just want to, because I just want to really ask him. I'm just, I don't know. I, I, I'm. I don't know. I, just I, I wouldn't like I said. I wouldn't mind meeting him, but he's he's not the kind of YouTuber that I would want to do a collab with. He gets massive views. I mean, he's a big YouTuber. Uh, just he's not the kind of dude that he's just. I don't know. He's he's one of those people that it's like, eh. and then you know you let people. People watch him and get a react, get a reaction. I, I tell you what, I would give him more respect. And I'm not, I'm not being a troll. I'm not trying to like. I would give him more respect if he did it in more urban areas, because he only does it in like lily white areas. He does it in areas where like people are sitting outside, you know, eating on a patio, like at a patio restaurant. He does it in like lily white areas. It's like, dude, why don't you go do that? I tell you what, I would I would give him major props if he did that in uh, in Philadelphia. Like, dude, why don't you go do that in downtown Richmond? Why don't you go do that somewhere else? Like, why are you doing in these in these fifi areas? Like, if you, if you're if you're really about that life, because every every everybody that any and again, I haven't seen that many videos from him. Maybe five, six, seven. Not a lot. I can't stomach too much. Every video that he's done, it's 
It's in like a, a like a what do you call it? Uh, it's in a um, a fifi area. It's in a it's in a um, a safe location where like no there's no thugs. There's no tough guys. There's there's no people that will, will punch him in his freaking face. None of that. No, he does it in the safe zone. It's like, dude. Okay. You know, you, you got your little you got your little um and I'm and you know what? I've been wanting to do a video talking about him for a while. I just it's like, you know, I just I, I get bored when I think about it, but I, I probably will. And I, I'll say like, listen, bro. You can keep doing what you're doing and keep it safe, and I respect that. Or you can ratchet it up and be a man, and why don't you go do it? And uh, hey, I tell you what, I, I got a perfect, I got a perfect, I got a perfect location where he can start at to dip his toe in the water. Why don't you go to why don't you go to Gallup, New Mexico? Go do that over there. Just saying that that's a perfect city. Go do it over there. Dip your toe in the water. And uh, you know, instead of going to like these safe locations, these gentrified little fifi, oh, I'm paying $30 a plate for breakfast dining on a patio and then you're sticking like and then you're on a sidewalk and then you got a you got a camera and you're just like pointing it at somebody as they're eating. Like, what is that? That's not even interesting. And then the views that he gets, I, I think to myself, I'm like, is this entertaining to people? And I'm, again, like, I'm not a hater. Good for him. Like, he found a niche. I found a niche. Hey, you do you. Do you. But that's boring. Like, dude, you, that's boring. I don't know if he's had any serious conversations. I don't know. I, I, I haven't delved in his channel long enough because his videos are the type you can't fast forward through it you gotta like kind of watch it and you got if you fast forward you gotta come back and kind of you know and the guy's like uh, why are you filming me man oh you know he, basically he's like filming businesses like so if you have um if you live in a um like let's say you live in uh let's say you're in uh frisco texas and you have a portrait studio he'll come out with his with his friend with their cameras and then they're, they're on tripods and then they're filming your business like the door that's and then they'll just sit there and they'll wait for you to come like that dude is like and, and it, it, it amazes me the people that like find this like interesting it's like but I'm not gonna lie it amazes me that people find my stuff interesting so who am I to say anything but now, now again, if he did this like in Los Angeles, oh boy, he'll if three million subscribers, he will be a, a YouTube beast king, and he'll also be dead. Somebody will kill him, like that. He'll he will die. Like he can't he can't do that. Hey, anybody watching right now, you want to be a big YouTube king boss? Uh, pimp you want massive subscribers and yeah go do what he does go do that in the hood i promise you as long as you're alive you'll get massive views and somebody will kill you hey when i was in los angeles the video will be i don't know when the video i i, I want to try to get the video out next week huh? okay I get the video out. hey I had a camera out in the worst part of Los Angeles, and I only lasted a minute and a half. I'm not gonna get into the details, cause <coughs> boy, boy, I I wish we that video that when I put that video out, it will not tell anything. That won't show nothing about what happened to me. But I tell you what, go go do that in a in an urban area. D don't don't. Like that's phony as hell. And you know what? Maybe I will call them out. I just haven't really felt like doing it. But it's like, dude, all right. I'm just going to um, sit here and then film this guy's, <laughs> the front of his business for an hour. And then they go to their camera and then they adjust. And then they, and then they, 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 they it's right at the door. 
It's right there. And then they just do that. And then if you don't react, they'll just go to the next business. They're just trolls. And it's like, yeah, you have, you you do have a constitutional right to 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 do that, but okay, well, you, all right, and there you go. So, not terribly exciting to me, but people love it. Like, yeah, his views are he gets go go look at that guy. His views are like hundreds of every video. It's like three hundred thousand views. I will give him respect. If he steps his game up, step your game up. Let's let's go to a let's go to a uh, let, let, let's go to a. I'm not even gonna say a black or a, like a like a Mexican or a Puerto Rican neighborhood or Dominican. Not like nothing like that. Just go to an urban area. Just urban. I I, I want him to go to. Uh, I don't know. Just an urban area. It doesn't have to be a bad neighborhood. Just like urban or, or where people like just, yeah, just switch it up. Switch it up. You don't, you don't gotta, you don't gotta do your safe nonsense. You can, you can go to, you can put a little danger in your, in your videos. You can, you can go to, um, you know, uh, Brunswick, New Jersey. Why don't you go to Newark? Hey, how about downtown Newark? Go to downtown Newark. Go go run that over there. You'll get robbed for your camera. Somebody will punch you in the face. You can't do it because it won't be content because he'll close up shop. So he's going to do it in a safe area where no one's going to punch him out. Um, no one's going to react. But, and uh, it might sound like I'm hating on him. And maybe I am. Definitely ain't jealous of him because that's not my content. Like, like my, I don't care if you get a million views per video. Like, that doesn't have anything to do with me. It's just that, you know, people like, oh, freedom, right to film. It's like, dude, you're filming somebody's. You're, why are you recording people eating on an outdoor patio? Yeah, you have the right to do it. Sure, and I and I. And I will always defend somebody's right to do knucklehead stuff. But it's like, dude, if a, if a man is out with his girlfriend and they're on an outdoor patio and you're sticking a camera in their face and you're like, but people like that, I guess. I I, I don't find that interesting uh, at all. So <sighs> maybe maybe you guys do. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just me. So, uh, you should do a collab with Grim Adventures. Uh, yeah, he seems like an okay guy. I just not interested. In, I don't want to. I don't want to meet any other YouTubers. Like I don't. I don't have a beef with other YouTubers. <laughs> That's a lie. But um, yeah, no, I just, eh, I'm not interested. In, um, the 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 people that I want to collab with they don't do stuff that i do they just do like it's weird it's like the people that i want to collab with it's just like i don't know it's like a it's like a headache to deal with them i just don't want to it's just easy at the end of the day it's easier to deal with myself or kale shots fired it's it's it, it's it's too much of a headache to hit up other youtubers and oh hey man you want to do collab it's like, Exactly, Compton. Go to, you know. Listen, I'm not even saying because Compton, Compton gets a bad rap because if you guys and again and I will do videos in the future, five years in the future. I don't know. There's parts of Compton that it's not that bad. It's like there's parts of Compton that are safer than Los Angeles. It's just. It's Compton is like any city. It's block by block where you it's this is the bad and I want to start doing those videos where I'm like, you know, this gang controls this area and that but then I gotta like live over there and I gotta stay there for a while and I don't wanna deal with it. But yeah, Compton there like people don't know this. 
And and I well actually should I say it or no? No, I'm not gonna say it. I'm I'm not gonna say it. But there's parts of Compton that I told a certain YouTuber. I said, dude, you know, I said Compton, I said, I said, you know, there's only like a very sliver, there's a funny part of Compton that nobody knows about. I said, why don't you do a video about this weird part of Compton? And like, nobody's really done it. But they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. I told them, I said, I said, you should do this because there's this Compton and I think that they're gangs and there's a lot of gangs, but there's a weird part. It looks like, it doesn't look like Compton. It's like, oh, it's like another world. And they don't want to do it. And, and uh, like, that's not my content. Like, I, I don't want to do it because that's not my thing. But I would do it because it's just weird. So basically what I'm telling you is, like, Compton is dangerous. But so is Los Angeles. And then it ha Compton has, like, it's part where it's like, okay, it's like, all right, there's, there's, okay, this place, this place is okay. Like, there's parts of Compton that I, I, I don't have a problem parking my van at. I don't want to. But I could if I wanted to, uh, you know, it's like a little, little like streets and eh, whatever you start parking. And I, there's a lot of videos I want to do in Compton. But uh, why are we talking about Compton? I totally forgot. Somebody said something about Compton. Oh, about the guy going to Compton. Dude, he'll, he'll get, he'll get beat up and he'll get beat up it within one hour, one or two hours. He'll get beat up. Like he won't have a channel because he'll, somebody will kill him. Like it's, 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 he's not stupid. He knows, he knows where his safe space is and the safe space is, I, and I don't even know where he lives. I don't know where his videos are, but dude, go, go film somebody's little tiny hardware store. That's what he does. It's just like, it's nonsense. It's like, dude, that's not, that's not exciting. Just if you want excitement, Hey, go, go, go to Venice beach. Go to Venice Beach and uh, go 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 to Santa Monica. Go go do that over there. Go do it. Let's see what happens. I I, I wanted to kind of do a video talking about it, but I just kind of I don't know. Sometimes I just I just don't re really remember to do it or whatever. So I don't know. You, you guys. Uh, go film the tent on Skid Row. Yeah, there you go. Hey, tell him. Go go to Skid Row and go film a tent. And by the way, I will be taking these ideas for my video when I talk about them. Because I will talk about them eventually. It's like, yeah, go 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 film a tent. Go do that. Like, okay, I'm at this tent. Well, it's like it's your it's your right, you got a freedom to film, right? You can film on you know, go go do that. You know, and I remember I was, who, who, who was I talking to? This was like three or four years ago. Who, I, who was I talking? I was talking to, um, oh God, what's his name? I haven't talked to him in years. Who, who was the guy that, I, that, I, does anybody know? Who was the guy that pretended he was a time traveler? He was like a, he was a troll. He would troll carpetbagger. Does anybody, does anybody know who I'm talking about? I I can't remember his name right now. He's a good dude. I, I met him. Uh, me and him did like a video on his channel. Does anybody know who I'm talking about? Anybody? Uh, Come is a little scary. I usually go to downtown to the fashion industry. I just finished it's actually six and row for Dan, and it's truly Skid Row. Alicia Bruce, are you from LA? They gave up on him. I am in the process. They forced my hand to withdraw life support. I well, you must be talking about something else. John Titer? No, 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 no. Um, no. 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 I, I, I can't remember his name. I'm supposed to link up with him again. I just, I keep, he lives in a weird... He lives in the Midwest, so every time I'm in this area, it's freaking cold. No, not Tony the Tiger. Dude, dude, you're, dude, you, like, that's in the realm, dude. Just start naming names. 
Dude, he pretended he was like a time traveler, but he he only talked about it a little bit. And I thought those videos were really fascinating. And I told him, I'm like, dude, why don't you start? I said, talk about that more. Like, like that's funny. But he didn't do it. Yes, I am caught up in the chat. Who? Come on, guys. The Swedes. Swedes. Yeah. He had a big channel. He had, he, I think he had, like, when I met him, he just lost his channel. He had, like, 8,000 subscribers. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, yeah, we were supposed to be doing some videos, but I, 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 I think I still have his number, but maybe we lost contact. But anyways, um, yeah, no, he, I, I told, like, we were talking about, like, doing videos like that of where he just, like, I said, you know what would be funny I said, and this wasn't like, I don't, long story short, he actually did a couple of videos where he just stuck his camera in somebody's face and just sit there. And then he didn't say anything. He just did this. But he, he only did two videos. And I said, dude, why, why did, why'd you stop doing those? He goes, oh, I don't know. Maybe if you don't like him. I said, dude, I said, like he just went like he didn't say anything. <laughs> it was hilarious. Like like why are you filming me? And then like this one guy I I was like, dude, why why'd you stop doing that? That was funny. And then this Emma Gansett guy, it's like Hey guys, Emma Gansett praise you. Focusing. And we're going to jump to go to the particular school. Oh, and you know. Again, I, I would give him major props if he just did it in more urban areas. It's like switch it up, bro. You don't need to. You don't need to keep doing it in these nice. Switch it up. But he's smart. He don't. He doesn't listen to trolls like me. He, he just keep doing what he he does. That's it. He had a heart attack. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't. If he did, I hope he's okay. I haven't talked to him in several years. I was gonna hit him up because I was in his area. Every time I'm in his area, it's like I was like, man, I, I don't even think I have his phone number anymore. I, I I mean I can I know how to get a hold of him. I I can get a hold of him through you know different what do you call it? What what do you what do you call it when you want to get a hold of somebody through different people? Whatever. But then I always leave. It's like, it's like, it's, it's, you know, like I just leave. And then, and then by the time I remember, I'm like, I got to go. That's, that's for like the last three years. It's been like that. I'm like, oh dude. Yeah. He's in his area. I'm like, I might get the hell out of here. It's like, I, don't, I don't remember. But uh, yeah. I remember. We broke down in Compton. We took it to this mechanic. A guy parked his car outside at the curb, came out and found his car sitting on his frame. Felt so bad for him. That's how it works. That's how it works, Compton. Yeah. Oh, dude, if he did, I have no idea. Uh, next time you're in L.A., Mariloma, Chicken Coop Murders, the movie... Changling with the Angelina Jolie was based off this true story. Chicken Coop Murders. Yeah, I know that story. I don't know it verbatim. I, I know it's in like the folder. Yeah, it's just, yeah. You know, one of many California stories that there's like, what, 700 to pick from? Yeah. I, yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, Chicken Coop Murders. I mean, I'm not trying to shrug it off because people were killed, but like, there's many, many. I mean, hell, if you want to talk about, like, California, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in California. I mean, I, I, I mean, what about the kid who got killed for sneakers outside of McDonald's over off of Pico? It's like, 
Like, I, I've been wanting to do that story for a long time. He got killed for his shoes. 1987? Take off his shoes. He, did, he wouldn't take the shoes off. He killed him. It's like, there's a, there's so many stories in Los Angeles. And there's, you know, and there's a lot, and I can't even tell you, there's a lot of, like, they, they, they were, like, famous people in Hollywood that got killed that people don't even know the story. Like, oh, yeah, he was pretty well known in Hollywood when he's dead. You know? And then, you know, you got a lot of YouTubers who kind of do, like, the, the newer stuff. And, and maybe I'll do them, too, if I feel like it. But there's a couple of stories that happened in the 30s. And I'm not talking about Fatty Arbuckle. I mean, I'm going to do that story, too. But... Now there's other stories. It's just it's just a weird. It's just a queer story. And when I say queer, I don't mean gay. So when I say queer, I mean weird. It's just a queer story. It's weird. I'm not being gay or homophobic. Okay. You kind of do what you want to do. Okay. But yeah, there's there's a lot of stories in L.A. Just and. If your favorite YouTuber has already done them, I'll do them too when I get to them. I don't care. I'll get to them one day. It'll be my story. And then, uh, you know, they'll do, then they'll do it again. I don't know. I'm against it. Did it post for three months about half a year ago? I thought for sure someone beat the dude up. Uh, yeah, some, some YouTubers, they'll go on a hiatus. I have no idea, but maybe, maybe he did. Maybe someone beat the crap out of him and it took him some time to heal. I mean, you, you never know with these guys. It's there's a lot of there's a lot of, of stuff that goes behind the scenes that maybe they don't want to expose, but you know. Try you know, I, I'm curious to to know if this guy carries a gun on him. Cause then if you're carrying a gun on you, then your channel turns into something else. So um if I were doing that kind of channel, I wouldn't carry a gun on me because then I'm going, if I shoot somebody, I'm going to prison. So does he have a gun? I'm sure he owns firearms. Does he care? My question is, I already know he has a gun in his car. Do you have it on you while you're, I, I would bet you, no, I don't, I don't think this guy's stupid. I don't think he carries a firearm. Because he's not trying to escalate it to that level, but he's trying to escalate it enough. That's just my guess. I have no idea. Would I upgrade to a van? Wait, would you upgrade your van to a Land Rover? Nah, it's going to be a minivan all day until I, until I die. Until I die. Uh, Lamont Cleveland has biker murders, lottery winner murder, mafia stories, restaurant murder spree. Oh, trust me. I know. I know. Well, why don't you just send me an email? Taco, I mean, what, Lamont at large. I mean, Lamont, at, well, I don't know. Just find whatever email I get and uh, let me know. Uh, or whatever. All right, guys, I'm done. I, I am tired. I'm going to sleep. My, my throat is getting scratchy. I've been talking about that I'm against it nerd for way too long. I got to save my energy about him for a future video, which I will do. I just got to, you know, I'll figure out what I got to do. Uh, Cleveland, yes. If you're talking about the biker story between the, um, I forgot what the clubs were already. It happened like in the early 80s. Yeah, I'm already, on. I, I actually was, I actually started taking my notes for the story when I was there in October and I just left. So I got to come back for that. I think it was, it was, I think it was, the Outlaws with a lesser-known club, and I, I don't know. Um, yeah, Ohio has a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And, and we will get to that. But uh, anyways, guys, all right, have a good night. Um, I might stream tomorrow on the other channel. I don't know yet. Uh, if I don't, I'll see you the following week. Guys, have a good night. God bless. Thank you for the super chats. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Peace out.